All right guys, welcome back. Today I have a quick little tip video for you guys and it's about the hover rig. If you haven't heard the hover rig, it's kind of like this new technique. But today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make your own. So basically taking this hook and turning it into this. All right guys, so those of you that do not know what the hover rig is, it is essentially a 90 degree hook with a weight that is like centrally balanced and that centrally balanced weight is what makes it quote unquote hover it's why it's called the hover rig um, the types of baits you want to use for this are fluke style baits or minnow style baits uh, in this video I'm actually going to rig up and show you guys uh, the power bait champ minnow by Berkeley uh, this minnow right here is actually very good it comes in three and a half uh, I think it comes in other various sizes I'm not real for sure on that but you really want a from my experience you want a solid bodied style you don't want the actual fluke style because it has that center cut in the belly and it doesn't really rig properly from my experience but right now there's there's a couple retailers out there a couple companies i should say that make their own but they are constantly sold out so what i'm going to do is show you guys how to make your own uh all you need is a nail weight a one, two, or just depending on what size bait you'd like to use, 90 degree, it's a jig hook. So so you want a 90 degree hook. And what you can see is that 90 degree right there uh, on the eyelet. And that'll essentially help you hover this bait properly. And lastly, to hold the nail weight onto your, your hook, you'll need some shrink wrap. And this is very simple to do. Um, I do prefer tungsten because tungsten's a lot smaller, makes it a lot easier to thread your bait on and everything and the end product will end up looking like this right here as you can see it is very taut and very tight and that is actually like that's pretty solid that's not going anywhere this is one I've rigged up before this actually has an eighth ounce and as you can see it's pretty large so I do prefer tungsten I wasn't able to get my hands on any tungsten by the time I'm making this video I really want to get this video out there because I don't really see much of this all right guys we're gonna go ahead and hop into this all you need I forgot to mention it, you'll either need a lighter or a heat gun. I actually have a heat gun over here, so I'm going to be using that for this video. And it is very simple. You're going to, let me get the scissors here. You're going to essentially take your nail weight right here, get your shrink wrap. And you want the shrink wrap to where obviously it's a shrink wrap to the hook, the hook and the nail weight. But essentially what I do is I just like to make it about three quarters of the length of the nail weight cut that pretty straight and then you want to take your hook and you want to thread your shrink wrap on the hook like that and now here's the biggest part when you hang your nail weight in there you want the point of the nail weight facing out and I typically just run it out just past the the bend of the hook if I can get it down there in frame I'm not paying much attention and as you, I, get, I got the camera back in focus here. And as you can see, I want the bend of the hook, the point of the nail weight, just past the bend of the hook, about an eighth of an inch. So something like that right there is what I'm going to try to end up with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the heat gun into the picture. You guys probably, let me zoom out a little bit. You might be able to see this here. And you're going to essentially hang it on there. Again, just an eighth past the uh bend of the hook get you some sit or get you some sort of pliers because this will burn you and then you turn your heat gun on and then you obviously shrink your shrink wrap and there you have it it's still pretty warm right now but once it warms up once it hardens the shrink wrap hardens that will be solid and it will not go anywhere and you can use any weight you want this is another reason why I prefer tungsten. This is a 16th ounce. If you use a tungsten, you can use two 1 8 ounces, and it won't be much bigger than this 1 8 ounce right here. All right, so as you all can see, the, the shrink wrap is actually hardened. And again, that is very solid. You have a little bit of a nose there to keep your head of your bait on. And essentially what we're going to do to line this up is you want to come back about a quarter to 3 eighths of an inch on your bait. Something similar to that right there. Again, you want to come through the top about a quarter inch back with your hook. 
I go in just past the barb on this one or this two watt hook and then you turn it straight and then you want to keep it straight as possible and thread it through as I'm messing this one up thread it through to get to the bend almost on the straight part of the hook and then you want to turn it back out just like so and then now for the hard part you can actually uh, moisten this up put some spit on it and it'll slide on there a little bit better and then once you get to this point right here you want to pull the head and push it down over the point of the nail weight I didn't get this one perfectly straight for demonstration purposes but that right there is the hover rig and essentially once you use this you want to use light line obviously because you're throwing a real light weight I prefer a seven foot medium uh, spinning rod eight pound leader to a 15 pound braid and all you're going to do is just cast this out there hold a semi slack line when I say semi slack and you want a little bit of a bow in your line and you want to keep it to where you can still feel the bait but you want it to have a free range of motion and let it hover and glide like it is designed to do alright guys that's all I have for you guys that is how you make your own hover rigs very easy very cheap and you don't have to wait for a, a company to get them in stock it's, I think this is a it's a new technique it's actually been out for a few years but it's new here in the US and I don't think a lot of people have been using it I think it'll especially be good during the winter uh, when the fish are primarily focusing on bait. Um, I haven't tried it in the shad spawn yet. It might actually be pretty good in the shad spawn. We're going to give it a shot one of these days. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, be sure to, to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, catch them big.